Hi, John here. Uh, we're just travelling on the um, Waikato es Expressway. I'm uh, just heading back to Auckland. It's about 6.30 at the moment. Uh, just come up from uh, Palmerston North. Picked this vehicle up. It's going superbly. And pretty good to drive. Pretty good. But I'm um, just having a wonderful time um, on my way back to make use of this journey. Today, Waitangi Day, the 6th of February 2018. We'll just leave that there so I can talk to you. Uh, make sure it's safe. Basically, <coughs> I'm on a mission to bring closure to the Crown here in New Zealand and the way that they're running business, corporate business, and using titles of the chief fraudulent. bringing them to account, holding to account, that's what Jacinda Ardern said in her maiden speech on Waitangi Marae. She said, Maori have to hold the Crown to account or the government to account. And she's been honest about it, but never too late to make admission of guilt. But that's not going to wash with the British, because that's not our contract, as far as I'm concerned. On a British King's Bench Court, there are some serious allegations I'm making. This is for the record. <coughs> British and here in New Zealand. I'm talking to you live on YouTube as fact-cited evidence that I've just left Pohara Marae at the base of Mangatotari Mountain, the memorial stone at the back the side of the Marae, that is the title to this Mangatotari land and Waikato memorial and his land title in one piece to the whole country, that rock. It is in line with the Moai statue on East Island, I'm claiming that as well, a memorial to that. Tahitia uh, title with the crown, the head on his head, in Dunedin, New Zealand, to Britain, Dunedin, and here, Cambridge, to that rock, to Cambridge, England, Master of the documents, Master of Law, Master of Titles to the King. <coughs> In this case, King George IV, <coughs> private contract of Admiralty, Martial Law to Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here Manukau, Paramount Chief of Cambridge and of his Pohara Mara. I've just come out of talking with the Kuya there, the old ladies and the young ones. I've filled them in what's going to happen. With that title, we're claiming back for those people, but in particular the Punga Punga Hapu tribe. The original Moriori tribe is not to be forgotten in the main title claim. So although those people that are there are Tainui, nevertheless they are native. I don't put the fault to them, I put the fault to the Crown Corporations, private companies and Rothschild Banks, Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth Trust, their trust. 
are responsible, liable for all the debts owing now with the pound note on the head. So, from today, I'll just try and keep this steady, so that we can get a good account. I'm acting in the capacity of King William III Municipalities, the Acorn Star, on our King William IV flag, the brother of King George IV, and a referee for Manukau, and this Acorn Star, River over Manukau, the descendant of Tena Waikato, Whare Hede in Manukau. And that eight point star in River over Manukau's time with King William IV's contract, private contract. Two private contracts. King George's contract, 1823, and Tena Waikato, Whare Hede Hede in Manukau. And the other contract with the same contract extended to and succeeded by King William IV and Refere from Manukau, 1834, declaration of war flag on third parties on the Queen's side and third parties on the bank side of Rothschild and Treasury State and also the Federal State Government of America, Israel, United Nations, EU Parliament and other corporations tied to the Vatican and to the US Federal State Government. Commonwealth Governments of the World under the Queens. Okay, so that's what happened today on that mountain. I've claimed the mountain back to Punga Punga. Tapu, Moriori, in the first place, to the people who are there, Kaijiaki. I say the claim is spread, widespread, from the king's conquered lands and the British Empire, whom I represent as surrogate king. William III, King William IV, King George IV. So there, that's how it looks, just to say, on the records in New Zealand and Pacific Islands. And our King, Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world. Okay, so that's what I'm doing versus Iwi Maori Crown <coughs> and the Crown Corporations of New Zealand Government and New South Wales Government, Canadian Government, British Government and <coughs> the Commonwealth countries of the world under those Rothschild banks and the Smith inheritance. Okay, so to sum it up, we are making claims to this Mangatauteri mountain from Tainui. It doesn't belong to them. They've succeeded fraudulently through the Queen's crown titles. They'll have to pay the bill. And so, in the discrepancy and the corruption of the Moriori title, it's still there. The Moriori title is still there, live. I'll just see if the film is still going. Yep, still recording.
on me. Okay, so... Make my way back to Auckland through the back of Hamilton. With the camera rolling. So I can make use of the time. So when I get back to Auckland, I'll just pick up some bits to make Morris's mobile phones work. The internet is bang on. I've got that sorted. The two computers for our business, his business and my business, the Moai's business, will be starting on his land. And I'm setting up a better signal for his mobile phones for the code as a safety ID feature so he won't get scared. I'm going to teach him from Auckland remote. What we plan to do is to develop 80 acres of land that belongs to him and to change the titles back into British deed titles from where it came from in the first place. Take the mortgage off, no more mortgage. Gone is the mortgage. We don't need mortgage. We can make revenue from the birth certificate at a trillion pounds a pop against the Crown Corporation. That's what my birth certificate's worth. That's what everybody else's birth certificate is worth as a credit against the Crown Corporations under the Queen Elizabeth and her state government's corrupted system of law. The Rothschild Banks and all its affiliates. It will. That's it. The quickest way to fix this problem is to make everyone here tenants in the Moai Federal State Government of the world. Of the, world. the British Empire is what I was representing here in this country with a new lineup of executives right through the world. Two in each country of 250 countries, two representatives. I've got myself and Lobo as a start point here in New Zealand. You only need two. You don't need to be clever, you just need to know what to do. So far, no one's been able to qualify. I'm teaching Martin Morris because he listens. I'm teaching him everything about commerce in quick time. He has the land, he has the natural resources on the land, on those lands, 10 blocks, and I'm there to put plan to those land and assess the whole value's worth to credit an amount for the whole lot, one by one. So there, that's the start. It's one, I'll do it on one because no one else is helping me out, financially, that is, as well as um, other matters that concerns me and my well-being. What I mean is, Morris does care about my health and everything else I'm doing for projects. I'm going into the ocean as well because it appears nobody wants me. So be it. Those Ngāpui up north, after all these years, they think they can do it themselves. Let them. That's what I say. Let them. That's what Morris says. Let them do what's best for them. I'm here to do my best for the world and those who can see something in it for them in this plan. So that's about the simplicity of it. Not too complicated, but then it's still not understood. More misunderstood what I do is beyond most people. Beyond. It's got a German helmet on. 
you need to know is your skin tone. On your shoulder, the gun. And he'll be an archie. On the back. One goes around. Auckland follows this one. I've got to get them right lane, man. None of us come from that way. It comes from that way. It goes round this round round. I have to try and remember. My brain is 68 years old. And it's still functioning all right. Even though it's tired, it's still functioning. So far, so good. People? I hope the camera's high enough. Anyway, I just want to carry on talking. On um, where to from here? So, basically, this is the year to do things. This is the break or make year for Maori if they're going to go anywhere with their name. It's very difficult for them to identify with something that's been made up for them. Maori has been designed for Maori. Iwi. Iwi has no title. I'll tell you that now. Iwi has no title to these lands. Its fictitious position needs investigation and shutting down. That's what I say. It needs accountability and held to account to settle accounts in a proper manner, not one percent. Not one percent. That's been made that way so they had no choice. You have no choice but to settle for one percent against your wishes. Here we bus. Camera don't move. I'm trying to be smooth so the camera won't slide. Trash going really, really good. Lobo, you got a good boy here. I saw a nice car back there. A silver prize there. So I'm going to get some parts for Morris's mobile phones to make them work better in a restricted area of signals, no good. So this is the head that breaks the camel's neck. This is the head that will break the camel's neck of the crown, the crown, the crown. Corporation. Time for them to own up. Own up. The new cars broke down. The new cars can break down here. Oh. Okay, go this way. This is a tricky car. Getting on the wrong road. This is the main road, it doesn't say much. Too rough. I went down the wrong way. It sounded very strong. But anyway, back to the subject. For the fucker mini I don't have much to say. I've been in it, I've done that. For the incorporations, I've done that. Been there, done that. It's mixed up. In both are mixed up in the Queen's Crown Bench Court. You're stuck there. You can't get into this side. And the flag won't work for you on that side. You can do what you like with it, but very difficult for you to prove that you have a British E title and know what to do. I won't entertain anybody who's going to play around with British titles. You'll get a pound note in the head if you get that one wrong. 
say something wrong, you get a pound note on your head from the British or from me because it's none of your business. You're in another contract, it's none of your business. It's private. That's what that flag means. It's private business. Nobody's business.
Okay. You must have a title, a deed, to come into this field. You all had deeds, but you sold them. You got rid of them. Because that's what the Iwi did. They got rid of them and sold them. So that's your cut out. And to the Confederation. Very difficult for you to try and claim the flag. What do you want to do with it? Make a fuck of anything? No. You left out the left left money go. You left out dead away from the here of money go. Contractors. They are the commercial landowners and holy to goody. You left them out of your fuck of anything. That's it. You left them out and put naughty goody in there in their place and your own fucker papa over the mother girl's titles. That's it. That's it. You have to carry on going the way you are and hopefully you'll get where you're going to. In settlements, or less than one percent. The British already know who's who. The United Nations knows who's who. The World Court knows who's who. You've got to have all the elements of a conflict before you can go anywhere near there. Get my drift. That's how commerce works. Commercial contracts is something of a private magistrate and Instruments, not payments in treaty settlements. None of that. It's nothing to do with it. Not anything to do with Maori on it because Maori is not real. In its history, not real. It doesn't belong to you, it belongs to the Crown Corporation, the private companies, which has nothing to do with you. So, unless you have all of those in a book form, or apostolized, or legalized, with a flag that's legal, you can't use the flag if I legalize it, because it's not for that. You've got to try and legalize it yourself. You try and legalize it for what reason? And see if that works with Maoris. Because I'll tell you what, we've got a long way to go. I've been over the tracks where you are. It doesn't work for me. It didn't work, it never will. It was doomed to fame now. Because you don't own it. The crown owns everything now. That's a fact. I'm talking about the Queen crowd, not the King crowd. The Queen crowd. No one can just pick the King up and go and run with it without his title.
how they're going to account for things is another question. Jacinda Ardern, I'm sure, if you're watching what I'm saying, you better take it seriously, because I'm a serious man. I'm a very serious man. When it comes to law, ancestry, kings, titles, whakapapa, commerce, projects, economy, banks, law and order, it's what I am doing right now. Those are my own qualifications that I'm using to its full authority with this eight point star on the head of kings, commerce and kings, emperors, title, jurisdiction and legal authority to force the law on anyone who's breaking our law. I'm waiting on Fortune and Manny to give me my documents sealed so that I can start using them to start the business off. We have buildings that I'm putting up I'm going to use Morris's land to build housing for North, and I'll be using some land somewhere to build these homes where I think they should be done. Second thoughts about the East Coast because they're so much out of touch with their own future. It's not secure. Nothing's secure with the Queen. Nothing. She's not dead. She's not dead. She's buggered off and left you high and dry with nowhere to go. No seal, no authority, no nothing. You're on your own. That's what I want to say. So I'll end this video now and continue on my journey. Thank you for watching. We're in Huntley now. Huntley. And heading back to Auckland. We should be home in about an hour from now. I'm enjoying my battery's going to flame camera, so cut it here. See you later, alligator. Bye.